It's a merger ARB fund, Hema. Mm -hmm. How actually did Paulson lose this money? Right, so over four years we've seen steady sort of declines in this merger arbitrage fund. Um, the past two years really based on some of the, the, the pharmaceutical bets that this fund had made. But 70% over um, this fund, that's also leveraged. So what that means is they use borrowed money to double down on some of the trades in another fund. That other fund is down 42% roughly over the past four years too. Those pharmaceutical bets also mm -hmm. include Teva Pharmaceutical, yeah. didn't they? I mean, they had to cut their stakes there. So the firm um, cut their stake in Teva by about 60% uh, uh, last year, and that stock had been down about 50% uh, over the first nine months of the year, so that, that certainly hurt the firm. It's important to note at this juncture that at one point, Paulson managed $38 billion worth of assets. Yes. Now it's down to about nine, mm -hmm. and 80% of that is his own money or his exactly. family's money. So when he did manage $38 billion, about half of that was client money, external money, um, and that since has fallen to $9 billion, and with 80% of that being his, that speaks to the firm if investors are fleeing significantly over the past years and if most of the money is essentially his. Yeah. What happened to those people that actually stuck out with him? Mm -hmm. So investors that were in um, this Paulson Partners Fund, um, they've been struggling uh, that, with that fund having seen double-digit losses. If you were in the enhanced fund, which is the levered up version of that, you would have seen twice as much losses. If you were in some of the other funds, say the Paulson Credit Opportunities Fund, well, that's up about 11% this year. Another fund that's called the Pure Spread Fund is up about 12% um, last year. So mixed performance overall, just the merger arb fund. But the, and merger arbitrage is really what he um, had started his firm based on.